Hello all, another FFT Arena matchup um, coming at you. This time on top, we're going to be showcasing True Lights, one of True Lights' old teams, uh, Bloody Lance. And on bottom, we have Silent Caster's team, which is known as non gender Confirmity. True Light has Kyro the Lancer, Cyro the Lancer, Dimitri the Paladin, and Aaron the Monk. This is basically a team that um, utilizes Bow Song, so that way... Um, they can deliver to be hard DPS units. Um, this is a draw Lancer with Overwhelm and Masamune. 10 speed, so he should be a pretty fast uh, attacker. Um, he has another um, 10 speed Lancer. This time is a martial art Lancer with um, Warpath. They both got Warpath and HP Restore. So they're both basically similar setups. One has a higher PA, the other one has a uh, higher weapon power. Um, but they both function similarly. This one's a little bit more varietable in terms of offense and defense. Because it does have Sigma Magic Chakra Revive. I believe it should have Revive. This one's just a drop out with Jump. Um, and the Paladin here uses Talk Skill on Yodin Auto Potion. 9 speed, not too bad. Um, immune to Poison, you... And, and slow. You really don't want this thing to be slowing down on you. The Battle Axe for Decap proc. Always awesome. Auto Potion to keep him uh, pretty healthy. I believe he might have Transfusion. It has been a while since uh, we actually seen this team in action. And this monk, like I said before, uses Bow Song. Also has martial arts too, so he can actually keep himself healthy with uh, Chakra. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a straight up beatdown team. Meanwhile, Soundcaster has Tomboy the Lancer, Chatterbox the Mediator, Karaoke Star the Oracle, and Pony Hat Guy the Time Mage. This is basically a team that has 10 speed across the board. Uh, it's more or less a status based team. Um, item Bot Lancer, Item Thrum, Dragon Spirit. She's simply designed to keep the party alive. She pretty much acts like the pillar of the whole squad. Um, Dual Wielding Mediator. We have two repel knives, so they have two chances of inflicting don't act, as well as haste. Also has uh, refute, mimic derivon, mimic derivon, and death sentence. Interestingly enough, though, he's the one with the most movement out of the squad. <coughs> I hate having like um, mucus built up in your throat to the point you have to cough it out. It's not good. But yeah, anyways, uh, this Mediator, designed to annoy with uh, Don't Act, Death Sentence, and Sleep. Um, also has uh, Head Break and Armor Break. So that way, it'll, ha it'll find a way to get around uh, the status immunity that you may carry. Has Angel Range, so when he dies, he should be able to just run, run away. That's what you should have on a Suicide Unit. I mean, I consider him more or less a Suicide Unit because... He's rushing in there in enemy territory and basically trying to either get lucky or get unlucky, depending on how uh, the odds play in Soundcaster's favor. Uh, Saying Oracle, as he took my advice, he now switched from Bowson to Lifeson because, as I explained before, Bowson is normally uh, there for beatdown teams, physical beatdown teams, and it would not have done really much for this type of team. I think uh, Life Song would be better because you, beside this Lan beside this Lancer here, and I believe this Time Age, what does he have for White Magic? Uh, yeah, only has Raise 2 and Asuna. You really kind of lack any, any type of healing besides this Lancer, and you want everyone to be covered. This Oracle is going to use Life Song as long as he's out of range. That's the thing, though. As long as he's out of range. But otherwise, uh, his, his yin and magic should also come in handy. I am not sure why you would give him 70 Brave, though. Maybe you're looking for uh, best chances with Auto Potion. Maybe you're looking for good damage with the Book Proc. Um, well, I don't know. I mean, the, the Mantle of a Gen does trigger Stop, which is always nice. And of course you have a support time mage who um, I believe should have haste to. 
H2 slow to and sync all. MP restores, so that way his MP gauge can go right back up. In case that does not happen, his lance will be right there to throw a high ether anyway, so good way to cover that. Uh, Media's faith value also went up because... Hmm. Let's see, Scorpio and Capricorn, I believe... That's good compat, that's good compat. Not sure why you would make this uh, Lancer uh, Capricorn. If you want best compat between the Lancer and this Oracle, uh, you would want to make her into a female Taurus. That way you have very good odds of landing a uh, race 2. And you can raise her faith up a uh, 40 faith, I guess, if you're comfortable with 78 plus percent odds. Assuming best compat, then I guess. But I would change your compatibility around because you do want your raise 2 user. Who is it? The time mage? Oh, never mind. Never mind. I take that back. You do have a time mage that has raise 2 and you want to hit it on this lancer. Sorry about that. Uh, I was just being stupid. <laughs> you pretty much got that uh, covered. From what I see. Alright, anyways. We're going to be going to map 25. Yoda Fort City. I apologize for my... Uh, uh, for me overseeing that. I did not uh, notice it until last second. So, you're pretty much covered. Alright, True Light's in the red while uh, Soundcaster's in the blue. Cairo goes for Masamune. And Tomboy's gonna look for X Potion. Yo, that's really the only way to deal against her. Uh. Oh, there's a Haste proc. That's where that Mediator should have gone for Head Break. Because he can at least get rid of the Crystal Helm. Now that Lance is basically hasted. Well, he's already Moss Moon anyways. Sleep hits, though. And there's a haste, too. I also like the fact that if you put your time age to be last, that way you can get at least three to four units with with um, haste, too. See, Tomboy's going to be looking for an X Potion on a martial arts Lancer. Karaoke Star, we're looking for a... Oh, 175... Damage book shot. Wow, okay. I guess 70 Brave Oracle. Oh, Sleep Proc on the Paladin. Uh oh. I guess 70 Brave Oracle was rather handy. At least in that exchange. And repeating fist down goes the Mediator, but he does have re raise. And now the Oracle's will be looking for a Life Song. Making sure that uh, everyone in the squad is going to have regen. And not just that, but the Mediator needs healing. Slow 2 misses twice now. Oh, HP Restore. Not good. Should have gone for Mimic Darabon. Regen onto the Oracle. This is what I'm talking about. Why Life Song's so useful. You can combine Regen and extra healing. Kind of like that. Makes them pretty difficult to take down. Now the Oracle's be looking for oh 46 percent raise two. Petrify on the sleeping paladin and raise two miss. Is there a worse compact going on here? Um on uh, the Lancer? Oh, it's Capricorn, so guess what? Ca male Capricorn and male cancer means worse compact. That's why the odds were so low. Yeah, even 63% slow too. Sleep didn't miss. Really, the only thing that Monk is doing is just... Blowing up battle songs. HP Restore goes off once again. That Lancer is going to get hit harder and harder now. So, this might be True Light's match to win here. Ooh, stop proc! Nice. Very nice indeed. Cairo gets right back up. And almost KOs that Mediator. Almost. And... Oh! A crit 160 damage from that Mediator. Wow. Soundcast has shown that he can get physical too. HP Restore hits. And... Alright, that Time Mage needs a high ether. Like, pronto. And that Monk's getting more and more PA here. 214 damage, and... Alright, no haste this time. That Oracle needs to land another stop proc. Like that. <laughs> wow. I 
totally call that one. Uh, yeah, with the monk being out of the position, Death Hunters didn't miss. That's a good way to take down a tanky monk. And down goes the uh, Undead Lancer. Uh, Silent Caster may have round one in the bag, actually. It's just to simply matter if can the Mediator nail a death sentence. Double head break misses. And yep, high other. No MP left, so that monk's gonna have to go for a chakra. If he wants to resume song and wait fist missed. And that mediator didn't even have a mantle. No stop rock. Slow two hits one of the lancers. And chatter box. No HP restored, no haste. Alright, let's see. This Oracle is going to go for Bookshot. Yeah, that does nothing. Haste 2 coming up. Now, I think... Yeah, Soundcaster's got this match won. Unless these Lancers can pull some kind of comeback. Because right now, I don't see it happening. Cairo gets right back up and gonna go for a very deadly jump. Double armor break connects, not that it should matter. And ouch, 255 damage. Sleep misses though. And 61% raise too. Will that connect? It does. Head break hits just for chips and giggles. Yeah, that monk's finished. So Silent Castle does have round one. 276 damage for repeat and fist. See, slow just wore off. And Phoenix down. Another repeat and fist kill. See, sleep proc. Hits that uh, undead Lancer. That time mage is going to have to get in position for a raise 2 on the undead Lancer. Or Oracle can get the kill. Which of the works? Alright, Silentcaster takes round 1. We shall see what happens at round 2. And here we go now for round 2 as we are now on map 83. Zirakawa Falls. Last match, um, True Light kind of got a bit... Overwhelmed, you can say, because of the um, status effects that Silent Cast was able to inflict. Death Sentence being one of them, of course. Um, but I think what really killed True Light here was the Petrify proc on the Paladin. And Sleep hitting one of the Lancers. One thing that's awkward about this map is Refute Attempt failed, but. One thing kind of awkward about this map is you notice the bridge here acts as a choke point. And it's going to be very difficult for units to kind of, um, to kind of just simply uh, navigate across unless you got really, really good move. Like the mediator can probably get across just fine, but. Otherwise, for the most part, teleport, fly, even ignore height. Um, can navigate this map very well. Ninjas can also map, uh, very, move, ver move around very well on the map as, yeah, as well. I mean, there's only a certain number of classes and movesets that you can navigate this map very well. But regular move, eh, not so much. But we are going to showcase this map in case anyone has a different opinion. Which I, which I do kind of doubt. At this point, because I don't think everyone really likes, um, I don't think everyone really likes, um, um, this map at all. <laughs> then Lancer was able to pull a double block. That's impressive. And a 37% don't act. I'm blaming this on Compat over why the odds was just so low. And it does miss. So, oh, decap rock, miss. But well, more, well, firstly, the axe shot missed. So regardless, there's no decap proc. 
Tyro will rush forward and do a lot of damage to that Oracle. Him having 70 Fury isn't the best thing on his time. It is a sleep. Uh, let's see. Petrify, 46%. It did hit before. Will it hit again? It does. Wow. Silent Castle got really lucky there. That Petrify, uh... Well, I was going to say it might be the answer, but so far it's been the answer for that Paladin. Um, but yeah, Raise 2 can normally t put down Undeads, normally. Two Sleeps missed. And Bowser Song missing, which is not a good thing for True Light. He's at a 4 on 3 disadvantage right now. The Lancers with 5 jump though, I think this is uh, more of their map. Yeah, this is more of a Lancer, Ninja, or Unit with Teleport and Fly map than anything else. I suppose the Mage is, um... Oh, Race 2 hits, nice. I suppose that Mages don't suffer too much greatly because if they're forced to stay back, then all they should be doing is just keep casting spells. That's my take on it. Let's see, it's slow too. Connects. All oh, right, one of the lances had like worse combat with the time age. And I think the other one is neutral. Okay, Virgo, Scorpio, that's neutral. Oh. That's a big jump. That is a big jump. Synchro missed. 329 damage onto that Oracle. Ouch. That's gonna hurt. Meteor just rushes in there and nails a death sentence. Raise 2 can run- Oh! Raise 2 on the, um... Oracle, 95%. Will connect. It does. RNG has a- it has a tendency to be very, very fickle. And here comes another big jump, this time on the Mediator. Synchro does hit this time, but it's going to uh, trigger Auto Potion. And that Mediator is down for the count. The Monk is thankfully at a good tile. Oh, stop, Rock. Thankfully, the monkey is at a good tile, so Revive can bring him right back up. Or at least I think it already did. I probably just wasn't paying attention. But still, it is still a good thing that that monk is right there. Not at an awkward tile, so he can't be resurrected. And the Lancer goes down after the combo damage from Mediator and Time Age. So, Life Song, yep, and Regen on the Lancer, which is pretty awesome. Now she is especially tanky. 104 damage. Oh, that's because of uh, Warpath. That's right. 46% raise 2, though. Really, 46%? Oh, but it hits. Very nice. Death is missed. Um, and haste too, just for funs. Um, Monk is immune to stop, so... Yeah, going for stop procs aren't going to be helpful very much. 25 damage. Oh my god. Yeah, that's coming from a female Lancer, but wow, that's the lowest... Um, um, that is the lowest spear damage I think I personally have ever seen. Sinkhole on a death sentence unit, probably because he was in the middle of, uh, performing. So, AI's gonna simply stay back. Oh, Tyro gets right back up. Soundcaster's team shouldn't have to be relaxing just yet. Unless this Oracle can... Oh, another stop proc. Wow. Holy shit, that... That Oracle has gotten really lucky. 
Saito gets up. Race who missed the stopped Lancer. Time Age is looking for another one. Oracle to look for sleep. Another high ever, another sleep. Misses. Race who missed twice. Huh. And revive hits the monk, the mediator. Takes out the Lancer. Let's see, Oracle will go for a bookshot. Luckily that, that did not trigger auto potion. But Monkey's going to chakra himself anyways. Alright, so now the death sentence misses. The AI, the AI is just derping around right now. They just they should just go ahead and get rid of that monk. Cause all he's gonna do is just simply keep chakra himself. And the Lancer is gonna get keep getting right back up and back up and back up. So will this be it finally? Yeah, pretty much everyone is just sitting on top of the mountain. That's pretty cool. Ooh, Cyro gets up back with a lot of HP. So does Cairo. Let's see. Ooh, X Potion from that vertical. Nice. And. A race who hits one of the Lancers. And a refute misses. Was that the martial arts Lancer that got hit? Ah, uh, sleep hits. Now the time age is probably looking for a slow, uh, a raise to on a sleep. Or the mediator can kill him. Nice. And death sentence finally took its toll. So, Silent Caster wins. GG.